in my previous example when we talked about atomic reference counting I actually cheated and you probably haven't noticed this but the way I cheated is that when I was showing uh, something being executed on a separate thread that something was the greet function which actually doesn't mutate any state so all greet does is it takes the name and it prints it it doesn't mutate anything so let's take a look at what will happen if we add another field here let's call the field state uh, which is also going to be an arc of string and let's see what happens if we decide to mutate this So let's suppose that the state kind of represents the person's psychological state and I'm gonna have state here as arc string and I'll just assign state state like so but here inside the greeting let's suppose that as you greet a new person you become excited about greeting them so how would you actually mutate this arc variable that we have here and uh, well you might go with something like the following you might say oh, okay let's just clear the say state so i'll say self dot state dot clear and then add a new string there self dot state dot push str just add a different string i'm excited for example so being excited to meet someone new seeing how we're saying a greeting after all okay so this seems innocent enough but in actual fact i can tell you right now that it's not going to work so if i go and uh, decide to well first of all we need to actually initialize it uh, here as well so uh, we have the name and then uh, let the initial state shall we say also be arc new and let's say the initial state is bored board uh, to uh, string like so so we uh, say name.clone and then state.clone and we kind of expect it to work but here I can uh, print the name and in addition I will print the state as well so let's put in uh, both the name as well as the state here and let's actually try compiling it so let's just see what happens here now here is yet another not exactly the most understandable error in the world cannot borrow immutable borrowed content as mutable and that's at lines 25 and 26 so if I actually uh, go to the appropriate line you'll see this is where we have the problem so the problem is that uh, if you imagine yourself running several different threads and all of those threads are trying to mutate this variable called state at the same time that's not a very good idea is it because they're all going to mess up this variable essentially we need to be able to protect this variable somehow and arc by itself does not protect it from concurrent access all it protects it uh, from is uh, the reference count being uh, changed from multiple threads but the variable itself is still in peril and we need to do something about it and what can be done about it well one of the approaches is to put a mutex around this variable now a mutex the word mutex is short for mutual exclusion and what this means is that threads are mutually excluded from modifying uh, the actual variable until one of them is allowed to do so so they will not be able to both modify the state field at the same time so how do we do this well unfortunately we have to make yet another modification to the field here so we've made lots of modifications already but we're going to make another modification so mutex actually lives in std sync so in addition to arc i'm going to have uh, the mutex here as well so we'll have mutex and arc from std sync and then i'm going to modify this variable so instead of just being arc it's going to be arc mutex string like so so as you can see it's it's becoming a bit more exciting and here we have to make the modification as well so it would have to have a mutex at this location as well uh, now the mutex behaves uh, differently so you cannot just go ahead and access the variable directly and the reason for that is that you have to lock the mutex so as to prevent other threads from modifying the variable while your particular thread is actually doing something relevant to it so the way we would actually mutate the state here is slightly different and let me actually uh, push this out put down a little bit so what I would do is I would grab the state but I would grab it as a mutable variable so let mute state equals and then what I do is I'll say self dot state and it's a mutex we know it's a mutex so we would lock the mutex like so and we would have to unwrap uh, the result as well and then of course so what you can do is you can perform your actual manipulation so you can say state dot clear state.clear like so and you can say state dot 
um, state of push str, you can push str excited in this case, and then uh, we can do the print line. Actually, let's do a more interesting print line. I'm going to print both the name as well as uh, the state. So my name is so and so, and I am. And then we need to get the state as a string. So I would say state as str like so, and we are done. At least we're done in this particular part because we still have to initialize all of this down here below. So as you may have guessed, the initialization of the state has to involve both arc as well as mutex. So it's going to be arc new, and then it's going to be a mutex new of uh, the board string. So unfortunately, it gets uh, it gets slightly more complicated this way. But apart from that, the rest of the operation is also very similar, except that here when we print line uh, the name as well as the state, because our state is now this mutex thing, we also have to lock it here because remember, uh, it's wrapped in a mutex. So the mutex controls the access to the actual variable. So here we have to lock it, unwrap it, and get it as str. So there we go. That is our output. And we can now try and compile this. Hopefully it builds. And we can try running it and see the results. So in a uh, in the main thread, we have John and John is bored. However, in a different thread, when you run it, uh, run the greeting in a separate thread, we get, hi, my name is John and I am very excited. So uh, the takeaway from these three examples that I've shown is that if you want to easily pass the variable around, you use RC. If you want to pass the variable between different threads, and read from it, you use arc. But if you want to actually modify a field, for example, then you have to have both an arc as well as something like a mutex.